Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 17. I'm Andy, and this is where we left off last time on the Kleinhorn map. So today we're going to start our actual harvest, and we're going to go in through. We're planning a bit, and we're going to go in through here, I think. So basically, I'm going to go. I think I'll go with this one. I'll go with this line, and I think I'll be able to reach both of those at the same time. Everything is in very s nice and straight order. So. We'll see. I'll swing around here. I just saw, uh, as I was watching a lot of videos yesterday on. forest harvesting I actually sort of I thought it was interesting that they on average um, the harvester in Sweden or the harvest that they were following he could he needed to do he needed to cut down a tree move and do everything he needed to do with the tree one every 41 seconds To make uh, his uh, economy work, so every 41 seconds he needed to cut down a new tree, and that included the movement, the positioning, the planning, everything. 41 seconds per tree. I wonder if I can do that. And this is a nice and orderly placed sort of a tree stacks compared to what he'd had to do. He had to do some sorting. My sorting is quite easily easy compared to his sorting. So, so, so this is what I'm doing here. I'm cleaning off the branches in front of my my harvester, and the reason for that is I want to leave something on the ground that I can actually drive on. So we're sort of saving the ground this way. Or well, at least that's the idea behind it. Come on. Get around there. I wonder if there's a tree. I mean, it says that it's on the tree, but it's not actually on the tree, is it? No. Drop it that way. We'll go across here. We'll do five meter logs here so this way we're sort of making a road which you drive on which will also the forwarder will drive on I think we'll divide this up to about two meter two 200 millimeters in diameter and then we'll put the rest in another pile then we'll do this one that took long enough for one second right Drop it that way. And put that pile over there. So basically in this way I can put piles over both sides. And and the branches will, will turn into my little driveway, basically. That's the idea behind it at least. these over here and that one over there so when it gets close to about two meters then I'll branch it and with another pile so see where my trees are I think this way I should be able to do a bunch of trees so we need planning so my road will be about this, and we'll do come on. So, okay, good. So we'll we'll drop it to the left. So I'll just pull it up slightly to my right. So no. we'll put logs here. I wasn't a really good angle actually. But 
nice and thick trees. Everything is the same size here on this map. That's nice. And we'll do the rest of the other one in between here. Okay, and we'll do this one. We'll drop this one to a place that logs really bad there. Sorry. Oh, almost nearly tipping over. No, actually, I am tipping over. Why am I tipping over? Bad planning. So I will move over here and we'll place the pile here. Just left of the tracks. I want to keep a pretty close road here. But uh, let's see if I manage to do that. So I'm not very good at this planning stuff, which you probably can tell. Okay, so that will that tree and that tree I think we will be able to try to keep this line of this tree these trees. So we need to go and get this one. I want to drop it to slightly backwards. The reason for that is that I want to drop it there between those trees and then we pull it over here and we want to debranch it across our path here. This is the angle I would have liked to prefer it on the first level there, but since I'm a messy, I'm not very good at this. This is the, that's the reason why. That's the smallest bit. We would probably sort that into smaller pieces even yet. That's it. We'll go and and we'll try to do this one. So we'll start a new pile here. Just drop that there. So I could actually drive forward a bit. Slot. So I'm thinking everything under three will go into separate pile because they're much thinner than the rest of the tree. Good, so we'll do this one. We'll swing that to the other side. down there. That's one of the things you need to consider as a harvester, which I never thought about. I just thought you sort of pull the trees down. You need to think about where you put the trees. Where it actually falls. You need to move that over a bit. Because that affects where everything else goes, how to need to turn it, how to do everything efficiently. So that's smaller. Oh, Hannes! I'm Puma Tokara! I have to go and wipe my sons behind. Fortunately. Come and Sacks, Hannes! Come and Sacks! Okay, so and then we need to consider this, this on this tree too. Where it, does it drop in comparison where we want it to end up? I'm just gonna do drop this one. Uh, yeah, not perfect, but better. 
I'm improving. Ja, komm mit Hannes. I need to go and help my son. We'll put the other small ones here in between. So I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go and help my son in a second. Be a second, just. Let's see. Hey, I'll give you like a small lecture on how to wipe the behind. Okay, so we'll do also turn this to the left, I think. So you make I will put it forward a bit. Whoa, Jesus, something happened there. It didn't turn out very nice. So you see behind us there? There's sort of like a road where you where you can see where you put the harvester. Not the harvester forward. Well that was why I was like, why can't I turn? That's like a path for a harvester. This is the way you do. You do these roads and then we'll come with a forwarder back here and there and we'll bring everything back with us to the main road. That's sort of be because it's called I mean different it's, they have some some logs which are used for making boardwood board wood. and then you have others which are made to which are made to be let me see use it for mass like paper So this way, it, it you can tell in farming simulator, but this means you actually debranch it, sort of, over the road, and you get the path which you can drive on. Because right, you can't see that in farming simulator, but you can see it in real life. Go this one so over here for this. Oh, we missed a tree there on the right. So we want, we want to drop this slightly to back there. Oh. It works. So. 
reason for that is because we want to swing it back and sort of have the point Drop it over here. In this pile. It's pretty okay. Slightly too backwards. So we're gonna make it easy. This is my pylons are very good. I think in real life we'd be much better doing this. Than I am pretty bad at this. Okay. Um, well, so we got those. Next one is this one on the right here. Which will drop to. I think this is probably <laughs> best way to do this. Sort of go where you think want it end up and you go to the side and then but this is not the way to do it in real life Harvester can do about a thousand trees a day. That's a lot of trees. We'll drop this to here actually. So the idea is that if I swing it a little bit to the back, we'll bring it around here. And drop it to our oh, slightly rear left there. Maybe I can get this onto this pile here. That was too much. Drop it here in front. Doesn't matter because we don't have any good tools to get this out. Our claw on our forwarder isn't very good. I wish I had some bigger claws claw. So that's basically the way you do this. Bring it over here. Drop it in a nice little pile. You see, there's lots of trees. We're, we're barely into the forest anywhere. So there's so much trees on this map. It's it's ridiculous, actually. There's so much trees here. So, preferably, if we could drop it slightly just rear there it should be perfect for a pile here even though we really ideally would like oh, that's okay we'll do it this way What else? Nothing there, no. Drop this to the right then.
but we didn't drop it right. That was bad. I guess. Oh, that works. We got a nice pile anyway. Wish I had some sort of vehicle that would pick this up. I do have vehicles that would pick this up actually. But I'm not sure if we would I'll just put everything in one pile here. But I don't know. over to this side I think the forwarder it has a crane on it but the crane isn't very good you wish should get another crane that will pick this up I think that's quite a lot of money FDR has some pretty cool mods which could do that I could take what's it called tiger tooth tiger saw tiger something Come on. Uh, that wasn't bad. That was bad. I'm mean, sorry. That was really bad. I'm sorry. So let's drop it there. So that's really bad. Yes, it works. Drop this slightly forward, maybe. I'm just sort of experimenting here, as you probably can tell. Drop it there. thing is with the other two I have I think would be I was gonna oh God, I was gonna drop those aside there. You can get that on there. Uh fold no straight on the trees and stuff. That's bad of me. It's a heavy tree here. So we get this tree. falling there plus that's total crap so we haven't gotten very far but we have quite a lot of fo lumber already we'll place this here then not ideal but it's a pile anyway over here which will use the pulp hmm. 
put it up. Slightly to where you want it to fall. Not perfect, but okay. That's not very ideal. Go to this side of the tree. get quite a lot of logs from just one load just one log here one three tree I'll put that there too because I missed that silly me place this here I think Side and up. Seems to work pretty okay. Side and up. I have to remember that. First pull it to the side, I want to drop it, and then slightly upwards. And then it seems to fall that way. This one is next. We'll do this one. Oops. So that's all the lots of calculations going on. Where if you're driving a forward or for real, I guess you have to calculate which logs you can get out of a tree, where you want to place them, how you're going to sort them, which tree to, f to take down in which order. And that all on the time, pr time pressure. Do it all when at best point, time wise. there pull and up maybe oh that turned out pretty okay I don't know how many log how many trees we cut down though I mean just look I mean this forest is gigantic we'll have we could do this for a month or so probably without any problem Tree should be a tree down here somewhere. Yep. hard to see where it falls I'm not as I said I'm not an expert in any way at this I don't know what I'm doing pretty much I'm just trying to figure it out as we go along I think we shouldn't we have some sort of semi-rigid loader tool because this is it's a nice nice thing but I think the forwarder will take a lot long uh, we'll see I'll try the forwarder see how much how it works Okay, so we'll turn it off and we'll do a little bit of forward forward work. So this is our nice 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 field actually. You see the sort of um, point where we are trying to follow where this road and which we can drive with our with our forwarder so we can collect the wood forest. But it's a lot of work left. I 
this way you get these as a road and you'll pick out on both sides of that these we can ah, I'll pick these up too so I think I would I like a forwarder with a bigger some sort of a different grab tool they actually did some tests in Sweden which I understood from reading on them, of them where they um, had a rigid grapple hook instead of a semi-rigid like this one but uh, uh, this, may, this is maybe not a this is just a free castering you know but then they that was a lot better in a lot of ways This goes. Yep. Try forward a bit. So. These. I'm sorry for being being quiet. It's just really focused. Get this in here. There's somewhere between here. Okay, so. We got these two. Swedish is this called driving a scooter. Don't know why. Don't know what it means. But this is what you do. by just pushing it in I think like so okay good that was empty I could get those. And then you would so if the real you would drive this out to the road and then you would unload this at piles which you would get later with the uh, with the actual truck. Thinking there's probably a better way to do that. It was very economical. Just one little log. there and then this and this 
that's the way you go. I oh, should do this from the inside, but it's a bit tricky from the inside. So the uh, link to the everything is you can find in the description. Of course, I see. No. Well, we'll sort that out. Actually, nice pile. And the next one, this, this was, I mean, this will take. I mean, we dump barely nothing, and we have a lot of piles left there. This was will take a while. Let's find another way to do this. I think uh, in real life, I, I, the, the, the YouTube channel, the YouTube channel, the YouTube clip I saw, which was about a harvester being having 41 seconds per lot per, per tree, they also told, said that um, the forwarder operator has 40 minutes per load to fill this up, 40 minutes to fill this up and unload it, which is interesting. thinking I can do I don't think I could do that maybe maybe I could I don't know or I could I have no idea this won't work Fortunately, no. Grab two. See if we can put these in, push these in. Sometimes when I, I unload it or loosen those up, don't turn out very well, does it? Good. Better. I can really drop it down. I think that one of the tips they gave on the in one of the videos on efficiency was to use the extend boom function instead of the tilting the arm function. Crane. Tilting the crane. See we're gonna forward a bit. Mm. 
bit somewhere there. Maybe not. I don't like, I don't really have a hard time agreeing with this arm. I don't think it doesn't. No, that's better. I have a hard time getting it to end up where I want it to. Need to grab them pretty far out in order to. So we're getting pretty close to a full load here. I think a few more. And then we're gonna go and unload this. There's a point, there's a grapple hook, I, I wish I had a better grapple hook, because this is a really nice forwarder, but it has some problems, issues with it. The grapple hook is one of those. It's a not really nice thing, but... I don't I don't like it. I it's on the tree stump. <laughs> exactly on the tree stump there. Should make it easy to grab. Probably won't be. one we'll go with one for this out there Good. We can get a few more. This is probably pushing it. I need to save my game by the way. I think the problem I had with um with client hard crashing from desktop was to do with the auto save fun mod I had installed. Which is nice, but I think that mess seemed to mess things up. Do that. I don't. Know. What's wrong with it? Grab the freaking thing. It doesn't. Uh, something messed up with it. Looks like it's just annoying. Or it's just that I'm really bad at this. I could be that. And now, even though it should be grabbing it around the the whole log basically it doesn't
like so. Good. Uh, we'll stop there. So let's see. something but I don't know what maybe it's that should be that no I'm stuck with something I just don't know what no Okay, so basically, so this is the pulling something afterwards, after me. Um, so the idea is you would go and you would pulling afterwards. That's weird. Uh, the thing I want to try would like to buy is one of the either this one or this one, either this one, dangle. That's this can load it pretty fast. I think this can do two. This has a dangled head. This has a grapple, so we can steer it. But it's, it's like pretty small. I don't think you need a, a rigid one. Mm, I'm gonna think about it. So um, that's about it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, this has been Farming Simulator 17. I'm Andy, and this is. Uh, Logging on Kleiner map, basically. So, thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone. See you soon. Bye bye.